I'm Kayla Brugger. Today we have a standing Pilates workout. This workout is pregnancy friendly. I'm 24 weeks along in my pregnancy. We're gonna be focusing on setting our shoulders, working into our upper body and really focusing on form today. So you're gonna need a set of light hand weights. So I have three pounds. I really wouldn't recommend anything heavier than a three. We're gonna be doing a lot of upper body work. If you start to, if fives are all you have, great, start with them. And if you start to feel fatigued or your form is starting to sacrifice and you're feeling a lot in your upper traps or neck or too much shoulders, just go ahead and set those weights down because I really want you to focus on proper alignment and body mechanics today. So go ahead and grab those weights right off the start here. I want you to bring your feet together and your toes about a fist width distance apart. So this is what we call Pilates position. This is creating a strong base and a strong foundation. Now, this is also gonna help your hips naturally open up, but hopefully you also started to feel your glutes kind of start to squeeze together. And what we're gonna just start with is some three-dimensional Pilates breathing. So because we're always focusing on lifting our core in and up, I'll say that a lot, navel to nose, think about drawing those lower abs to the upper abs, I want you to constantly keep that lower abdominal lifted versus that little belly pooch hanging out because that's also just gonna help your posture. Just that connection into our abdominals helps us set our shoulders up, we stand a little taller and our spine, we naturally grow like two inches taller when we really focus on our posture here. So you're creating the solid foundation by starting to activate your heels together, your inner thighs are squeezing, your bottom is squeezing, and then I want you to think about zipping up through the front. So your inhalations are gonna move more laterally. You're gonna take a deep breath in, your ribs are gonna expand like butterfly wings. Inhale through the nose, and then exhale out of the mouth like you're blowing air out of a straw. Try not to really purse the lips or forcefully exhale the breath out. Just let it come a little more naturally, but just a little more powerful because you are tightening those low belly muscles. Inhale through the nose. And exhale out of the mouth, blowing that air through the straw. One more time, big breath in. And exhale. Think about lifting the navel to the nose. Good, now let's add a shoulder shrug to it. Inhale, those shoulders are gonna shrug up to the ears. You're gonna feel like you're making your neck disappear. And then exhale, let the shoulders drop down and push the breath out. Inhale, shrugging up. And exhale. One more of those, inhale, shrug up. And then exhale. Bring it down. Now when you're bringing it down, I want you to set those shoulders back here. You're going to take your right arm up into a bicep curl or hammer curl rather. Think about the end of the dumbbell coming to the head of the shoulder and then you're going to come into a shoulder press here. I want you to think about reaching the weights in the opposite direction. As one arm is going up, the other arm is going down. Now let's come into a nice side stretch here. You're going to feel the left arm being pulled down as you feel some side body energy here. Now because of the extra weight, we don't want to collapse into it. I want you to think about reaching up and away with that right arm and then come back up tall and then bring it down and then resist that hammer curl away. And we don't want those shoulders to be rolling in at any point in time today. So you're going to keep those shoulders set back. Hammer curl up on the left, press into that shoulder press and then side reach over into that nice lateral stretch, feeling those obliques. Now lift up nice and tall, big breath into the top, and then exhale, lowering down. <sighs> Inhale, curl and press on that right side. Exhale into the side, reach. <sighs> Inhale up nice and tall, and then exhale, bring it down. Elbow hugs right up against your rib as you resist. Hammer curl and press. Exhale into the side, reach. Inhale, lift and lengthen up for me, and then exhale, come down. That side reach feels really nice. One more time on that right side, press up, exhale, squeeze your backside, try not to let those ribs collapse, and then lowering down. One more on the left, curl and press, exhale. Inhale, pull up, stack tall, 
and then exhale, bring it down. Now really set those shoulders into your back. So right now, I'm gonna turn to side view. We're avoiding rolling the shoulders forward. This is kind of exaggerated, but I really want you to set back tall. Keep that solid foundation in your legs with those inner thighs and glutes pulling together. You're gonna come into a bicep curl for me here. So I want your palms up and then notice how the elbows and the arms are staying right alongside the ribs. Now, I almost forgot to lift the abs, so I have to remind myself constantly as well. Otherwise, <laughs> the belly starts to stick out a little bit there. So pull the navel up to the nose. Automatically, you're gonna kind of feel like your front and your backside are sandwiching together. And then you're gonna feel the collarbones broaden as you're exhaling here. Okay? So we should be recruiting not only from our biceps, but our triceps, our back muscles, like our lats and our rhomboids, and then as well as our shoulder girdle as it's setting in place here. Now we're gonna take that out and away from the body. So you're gonna keep that bicep curl, but I want you to bring your arms up. Try not to let the elbows drop, but curl in here. Think about bringing those dumbbells to your ears. Stretch it out long with a soft bend in those elbows and then lowering it back down and feel those shoulders pull into your back. Reach it out on the inhale. Exhale to curl in. Reach it out on the inhale and exhale, lowering it down. Inhale, moving with slow and intentional purpose, forcing the body to stay under control and working against gravity. It makes the movements that much harder and that's really why I recommend sticking with those lighter weights and exhale to lower. One more time, inhale, bring it out, exhale to curl. Inhale away and exhale, bring it down. Now again, adding on to this, inhale out and exhale to curl in. Now those elbows are gonna pull out nice and wide here. Again, try not to let them drop, so hold them up. And then you're gonna go out on the inhale, lift the tummy, strong T here. So make sure those shoulders aren't setting up. Those elbows staying slightly bent, we should really feel our back muscles helping to hold that extra weight away from the center of our body. Inhale to open and exhale to close. Inhale to open, exhale to close. We're gonna go three more. Now again, are your legs still firing? Are your inner thighs active? Are your kneecaps lifting up so your quad muscles are engaged? One more time, most important is that navel lifted up to the nose. Pull those elbows forward and together. Arms go out and down. We're gonna do five sets combining all of that together. Inhale to curl, up and in on the exhale. Inhale to open, those arms go wide. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, those elbows move forward. Exhale, out and down. Inhale, up and away. Exhale into the curl. Inhale to open elbows. Exhale, arms go to a T. Inhale, curl in, elbows come forward. Exhale, out and away. Inhale, arms raise out. Exhale, add that bicep curl. Inhale, arms move out and away. Exhale, curl and elbows come in. Inhale, move out and exhale, lower down. One more time. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, give me a curl. Inhale to open those arms to a strong T. Exhale, back into that high and lifted bicep curl. Inhale, elbows pull forward. Exhale, out and away. Ooh, beautiful job. Now palms turn, face in. You need to do a little shoulder roll to kind of reset everything. Great job. Okay, now we're gonna move into what I like to call a sparkler. So you're gonna grab one end of your weights here and you're gonna kind of turn the other end of your weight down towards the ground as if there were sparks shooting out of the dumbbell. Now your arms are gonna be into a low V and you're gonna pull them slightly away from your body. Now as you do that, there's that tendency to feel the chest and the shoulders pull forward. Plug into your back muscles here and then squeeze your booty and lift your belly. You've got a slight tuck of the tail there. Chin up and eyes up. Now you're gonna make small little circles here in towards each other. Those weights are moving in and up at the same time until you meet into a high V position. Any cheerleaders with me know this position really well. Now you're gonna reverse those circles down and away for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
Now again, watch the hyperextension of the elbows. You wanna keep that soft bend because that's gonna set those shoulders into the back. Here we go, belly and seat tight. Circle inward and upward. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. High V, reverse it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inward and upward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse it down and away. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep it moving in and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, these weights are getting heavy. Last set, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Roll those shoulders back. You're gonna give me a heel raise. Separate your feet now and kind of wiggle them apart, hip width distance. I want a soft, gentle bend to your knees. I'm gonna turn to side view. We're gonna come into a hip hinge. We're gonna work into some back movements here, starting with a bent over row. So hinge at your hips like you're trying to shut your car door and you're holding on to two super heavy grocery bags. So stick that booty back, your shoulders are gonna come over your hips and thighs. Now, naturally, the guts, they wanna spill out here. Your belly just wants to go again, so pull it back up. I always love doing that sound effect because I feel like it makes a difference. And then as you pull the abs in, you're gonna feel that pressure get released out of your back. Now give me that shoulder roll up, down, and back. So you already feel those elbows kind of softly bending and setting into the back muscles here. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, think about pulling your wrists towards your ribs and your elbows together behind you so we don't want those elbows sticking out to the side. Neck is nice and long here also. Your neck is an extension of your spine. There are seven small vertebrae in your neck called your cervical spine. So we want to keep lengthening through our neck and avoid looking down because that's gonna round the back out a little bit. So you wanna stay long, inhale, and then exhale, pull, and I want you to squeeze an imaginary orange between your shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale, pull those shoulder blades together and pull your belly button into your backbone. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Inhale those arms down and go ahead and just stand up for me here in between motions so we can set back into that hinging position. Hinging is really hard. There's really a tendency to dump into that lower back. So I want us to practice this hip hinging motion. Send the booty back, shut your car door, send those shoulders forward, spine nice and long here, belly zips in. Now we're going to dead bug. Weights come together, soft bend through your elbows here. Good, and then exhale those arms go out to a strong T and then inhale lower down now you know the positioning here and the pull back those elbows stay softly bent think about pulling your elbows to the ceiling and again that orange squeezing between your shoulder blades try not to look at the screen right now if you can look down and straight out in front of your toes about one to two feet so again you've got that length through your neck and you're not dropping or lifting your head your head's like a bowling ball. It weighs 10 pounds. Keep going here, four. And exhale, squeeze, three. Back to that head positioning. Our head's like a bowling ball. So if we're looking or moving the neck in the wrong position, it can put a lot of stress in our back in all the wrong areas. Last one on that exhale, squeeze, hold. And lower down, go ahead and stand up and give me a little reset. Again, I'm gonna turn to side view. So now we are gonna move back to that rowing position and we're gonna add what we call boxing here. So when you're ready, exhale into that forward hinge position. Soft bend in your knee, stick your booty back, let those weights drop out in front of your shoulders, lift the tummy. Now pull those elbows in to that first rowing position, that closed row, elbows back, wrists to ribs. Now keep those elbows locked in back and you're gonna press your left arm forward and your right arm back. Now with that left arm coming forward, make sure you keep a soft bend that right arm, pinky fingers pulling back, we should feel all tricep. Meet back at center, hug it tight, and press away. When we move the weights away from the center of our body, again, there's that tendency to pull 
out of the abs, okay? The further we move away from center, the more chance we are to lose center. So keep the navel lifted into the backbone, and here's five. Pull the center, exhale away four. Pull the center, exhale away three. Pull the center, exhale away two. Pull the center, exhale away last one. Inhale, pull the center. Now this time as you exhale, I want you to round your back and drop those weights down. Let your body hang here. Try not to let your weights completely touch the floor. Just a nice stretch here. And then just kind of give those weights a little circle. Letting the arms hang like dead weight. Letting gravity start to take over. And then give those arms a circle in the opposite direction. Now hold your arms steady here and pull your tummy in and slowly roll your spine up, stacking nice and tall. Go ahead and step to the front edge of your mat here. We're gonna incorporate some leg work now. We're gonna start to feel a nice stretch. So you're gonna plant your right foot forward. I want you to lunge your left foot back and you're gonna angle your heel slightly and I know it's kind of hard to see, but if you're familiar with yoga, we want almost like a warrior one position, not a warrior two position. So we don't wanna turn that foot out. We wanna square those hips up and forward. Shoulders are down here. I want you to anchor that left heel back. You're gonna feel a lot of stretching through the hip flexor, which is gonna feel nice. You're gonna sink down into that right leg, squeeze that left glute, and then just straighten up here. And sink down as you exhale. Inhale to straighten up. Sink down on the exhale. Inhale to straighten up. Now you're gonna sink halfway down, so there's a micro bend in your right knee. Now your chest is gonna come into that forward hinge position. So you're in a straight line from heel, hip to head, okay? Now go ahead, roll those shoulders back, pull the tummy muscles up and in here, and go ahead and bring those arms out in front of you, okay? Palms are gonna rotate down and set those shoulders back away from the ears. Shoulder press here, elbows come to goal posts, squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. We should not be in the neck or traps here. Tuck your chin a little bit so you're looking down a foot in front of your right foot. And exhale, press away. <sighs> Inhale, pull back, give me a pause and squeeze those upper back muscles and press away. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, press away. Think about lifting your belly off your front thigh. Bend and exhale, press away. Beautiful, we've got one more. Bend to goal post, exhale, press away. Now you hold, turn your palms in to face each other. Your weights are end to end. We're going into a straight arm reach back. Drop the arms down and then pull them behind you. Now this should activate your upper back muscles and your tricep muscles. Now watch that belly again. Whoop, pull it up and in and raise those arms forward on the inhale, biceps by your ears. Exhale, reach the weights, knuckles to the floor. Open your chest, pull your back together, but keep that belly lifted so we're not arching or popping through the front. Inhale, arms overhead and exhale, reach it back. Two more. Inhale, arms overhead. Squeeze, again, that imaginary orange between those shoulder blades. One more time. Inhale, reach overhead. Now exhale, you pull it back and you hold it there. You rise up on your left tippy toes and you can stay right here. Or a little extra challenge would be to shift your body weight completely into your right leg and give me a tip forward. And we're gonna add five tricep presses here. Those elbows stay high, square the left hip. Kick it back, exhale, five. Exhale four, kick stand that foot if you need to. Exhale three, pull those tummy muscles in, elbows stay back, two, and last one, good. Now if you're hovering into that airplane position, go ahead and stand up, keep all of your weight in your right leg, and just kick stand your left big toe for me here. We're gonna pull our weights up in front of our chest, elbows together here to start. You're gonna find a lunge back here, and you're going to open and close your arms like windows or doors. Step back, lower down and open into a lunge. Go as low as you're comfortable with. Step up and back together. Okay, feet together, elbows together. Try not to completely rest the weight into your left leg there. Lunge back, open and lower. Exhale up together, it's a tap. Open and lunge, exhale together and tap. Open and lunge. Now you might stay right here, or you might completely come up and add a balance, hovering that left leg here for five, and four, and three. 
exhale, two, exhale, last one, exhale, set the feet down, and let's release those weights. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Always surprised how much the heart rate comes up. If you need to grab a quick drink of water, here's a good time before we go to that other side. So forcing our bodies to actually move with control and being really intentional about movement can sometimes really get our heart rate up because we're so used to kind of rushing through things. So that's what I love about Pilates is the slow and intentional movements and the why behind everything here. All right. So you're going to stand on that left foot here now, and you're going to lunge your right foot back. Remember, it's just a slight heel angle in. Those hips are nice and square. You're going to sink down into that left knee, feeling that stretch on that right side. Really squeeze that glute. Set those shoulders and square the hips. Inhale, you straighten your leg. Exhale to lunge. Oh, that feels nice. Inhale to straighten. And exhale, sinking into that lunge. Inhale, and exhale. Last time to sink down into that lunge and really enjoy that stretch here now. Inhale to straighten. Just had to make a little adjustment there. So if you feel anything is off, make sure you feel well balanced before we go into this arm and stability work here. So now you're back into a soft bend. I want you to hinge your chest forward without rounding or rolling those shoulders in. So nice and long. And that's gonna transition that energy into the left leg now here. Set those shoulders into your back, and then go ahead and bring those arms out in front. Belly in strong. Now turn your palms down. We start with that shoulder press, goal post, and then exhale, press up. <sighs> Inhale to goal post. We should be out of the shoulders in both positions and supporting that extra weight into the back muscles. Holy moly, feeling that squeeze of the orange right in between the shoulder blades as you're back and down into goal post. Final two, press away. One more, exhale, press away, hold. Palms rotate in, and then we take that straight arm reach back. We activate the upper back and tricep without losing the connection to the belly. Again, remember that sandwich, front and back of the body together. Inhale, raise, exhale, sweep back, and squeeze the upper back without the belly poking out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Reaching back. A lot of core work here involved, even though we're not specifically doing crunches or intentional abdominal work. Hold it. Pull the tummy in. And we got that tricep extension. Bend. Exhale. Press. Now as you press back, press the belly into the backbone. I really feel the abs lifting up and away from the front thigh with each press back. One more time, press back and we hold it there. Oops, I forgot to add the balance to hover. So let's just do a quick little set there in that airplane position if you want it. Give me three to five, kick it back in that stability in that tricep position. <laughs> I always have a little mistake. Now, Hold it back there and lower the arms and tap your right toe next to your left toe. Those arms are going to come straight out in front and up into goal post with the elbows towards each other. We add that lunge back and the open and close of the arms with a little chest work here. So drop it down, come up, elbows together, tap your right toe next to your left. Lunge and open, exhale up together. So remember, you can stay right here tapping the toe up, but if you'd like a little extra balance challenge, you add that knee raise up here, adding a little bit more stability to it and just a little bit more abdominal work. We're here for five and four and three. Exhale, two, exhale, last one. Exhale up, bring the right foot and the weights down. Woo! All right, you guys, a little cool down here. So go ahead and again, step those feet back into your Pilates position, exactly where we started. Give me three shoulder rolls up, down, and back. So inhale, shoulders come up. Exhale, roll them down into your back. Inhale, shoulders come up. Exhale, send them down into your back. Now don't forget to squeeze those glutes and inner thighs. 
shrugging up, down, and back. Really, again, working on that posture. You're gonna take your right arm up, hammer curl, where we started the warm up, shoulder press up, bicep by your ear. I'm gonna take it into that side, reach again. Okay, now hold it. This time, bend your right elbow so the weight comes over to your left ear. Keep your elbow up and high without collapsing into that left side. So feel that lift and reach. Now use that oblique and stretch that right arm long, stack up tall, bring it down next to the hip. Woo, curl and press. Exhale into that side, bend, bend at the waist, bend at the elbow without collapsing, stay lifted. It's like your arm is making a nice little picture frame for your beautiful face. Stretch the arm up, grow tall, bring it in and down. Again, right side up and away, side bend over, exhale, elbow bend. Keep the length, inhale, reach and lift it all up together. Exhale, lower it down, curl and press. Exhale, there's that side bend to elbow bend. Inhale, lifting up nice and tall. Exhale, bring it down one more time each side. Finishing with that right over, last one, bend. Keep the length without collapsing. Feel those obliques, creating space between your rib and your hip. Last one here on the left. Curl and press, side bend, elbow bend. Lengthen up and away, bring it down and in. Beautiful job. How gently just take a roll down here, chin comes to your chest. Let those shoulders roll in. Everything we said to not, to, not to do in class today, melting the spine down, letting those weights hang uh, between your ankles and your knees without your knees bending or coming apart. I really want you to feel the energy in the hamstrings and glutes, and then try to put a little more weight in the ball mounts and toes. So if you look down at your toes, they're kind of gripping so you don't topple forward. You're light on your heels and your toes, they might kind of be turning white there. Now pull the tummy muscle in and kind of tuck your tail down so you get a nice low back stretch. And then just kind of turn those weights in and away from each other, kind of flipping them back and forth. Again, just letting those shoulder blades kind of open up and separate across your back. You're gonna feel some energy start to build in the, those hamstrings and inner thighs, so you're not stressing into the lower back here. Now let the arms come still, pull the tummy in again, squeeze the backside, squeeze those inner thighs, slowly roll the spine back up. Head will be the last thing to lift, and then at, as you're at the top here, you should feel those shoulders slightly rolled forward now um, at the top because we, we worked so hard to set them back. So take them back again, and we're gonna do that one more time. Gently tuck the chin like you're making a double chin. Now let the shoulders roll forward, and then the weights just roll you down. It's like you're folding your belly button in half. Squeeze your glutes so you're protecting your lower back there. And now we're gonna swing the weights, the arms forward and back, forward and back, kind of like you're skiing here. Tummy muscles are pulling in. I'm gonna feel a little oblique work here so we don't lose our balance. Just eventually let the arms come heavy and still, hanging down in front of your chest. Keep that energy in the lens, pull the belly in, squeeze those glutes, and then slowly roll back up. Head will be the last thing to lift. Again, those shoulders should feel like they're kind of set forward. So give me a shoulder shrug up. Roll them back and down, finishing with that posture set. Squeeze your glutes, lift your tummy. Now inhale, raise up onto your tippy toes. Give me a little balance, lift and lower. Now if you need to hang onto a wall or grab hold or step to a piece of furniture, go ahead and do that and lift and lower. One more time with that heel raise, lift and lower. Now I want you to turn your weights back. Set your chest back. Feel like you're separating those collarbones. You're gonna press your weights behind you. This is a chest expansion. Squeeze your backside, squeeze your front side, and then bring it forward in line with the hips. Inhale as you press back. Again, it's called chest expansion for a reason. We wanna feel those shoulder blades working together and the chest opening and resist it forward. One more like this. Now you're more than welcome to stay right here or you might add a heel raise with it for a little extra balance challenge. And when you come up onto those tippy toes, our goal is to not let the heel separate. Inhale, rise, press, and exhale, lower. Now again, you might stay right here or for another extra added balance challenge to finish, you might turn your head to your right shoulder as you rise onto those tippy toes. 
and back to center as you lower. Again, here's where that control factor comes into play. We have to move with intention so we don't lose that balance and really slow. It doesn't have to be the highest heel raise. It can be very subtle. You could add the looks while keeping the heels anchored. So there's lots of options here. We're gonna go two more. Inhale as those arms press back. Belly button to backbone, tail is slightly tucked. Squeeze right at the crease of the seat. And last one to exhale. Woo, great job, you guys. Thank you for joining me for standing Pilates, little Pilates strength work there through the upper body, incorporating some legs and balance. I really hope you enjoyed that class. I hope you feel like your upper body is actually really open right now for all of that shoulder setting and setting that shoulder girdle into place. I feel really open, but also really strong. Like I really worked a lot of muscles in all of the right places along with the core. A little bit of stretching through the hips, a little stretching through the spine. So thank you again for joining me. I'll see you next time. Have a great night.